So this is the sample video footage of, let's say when I'm in a Zoom call. Hey, what's happening guys, Mike Moo here. In this video, we're gonna do a little unboxing and hopefully a quick initial review of one of the few webcams that actually became in stock during this quarantine. So this is the Lenovo 500 Full HD webcam. And if you're lucky, you have pre-ordered this a month ago. And if you haven't, you should probably put your order in now because this is gonna come out a lot quicker than probably a lot of the other ones you're looking for. Um, so my main webcam is actually a, a Logitech C920 or C930. And I really recommend that webcam to everyone because that one just about does everything well. It has everything that you want in a webcam, particularly for uh, Zoom and uh, it was relatively affordable. Now it's really kind of difficult to get now. So um, if you get one for about $130 for the Logitech, that's not bad. But if you wait for this guy, you can get it for 69 or even as low as $50. I pre-ordered this a while back uh, when I knew that I'm gonna be needing to do more of these meetings. And um, it took, let's see, it took about a month to get here. Okay, so uh, some important things to note about the Lenovo 500 Full HD webcam. This does not have a microphone built in. Okay, so if you need a microphone, this one's not it. You definitely want to get the one, uh, you, you definitely need to get an external microphone if you're going to need uh, better sound quality than the one that might be built into your laptop. All right, um, the other specifications about this is that this has USB-C connection, but they give you the cable inside. It is a 1.8 meter long cable, which is basically over, I think it's over six feet. Forgive me, international viewers, but 1.8 meters is actually really long for its intended purposes. Uh, it does not have zoom, okay, it has a digital zoom, and it's only a 1080p full HD resolution. Only meaning, well, that's actually pretty good enough. It's very rare to actually have a 4K webcam and actually have the bandwidth to actually use it. So that's not going to be a problem. Now, one thing that might be a problem for some of you guys is that this only has a 75 degree uh, wide angle view, okay? So if you get a so basically, uh, if you're looking at this, this is pretty narrow angle, right? If you have a group and everybody needs to be in the, uh, in the call, um, Logitech by default actually has a much wider angle lens so you can fit more people in here. Now, if it's just yourself on a Zoom telephone call, this might be helpful because it helps to cut out some of the clutter. For instance, I have a pretty messy background in the back. Focusing it in like this is a little bit better. It keeps the it keeps the attention more on you, and uh, your face would just show up a little bit bigger and, and a lot that much easier on someone's small screen in a team conference call, for instance. Okay, now you might notice on here at least through the picture that there are a couple of different what appears to be sensors, and you might have thought one is a microphone. I assure you, it is not. Uh, what this actually supports is Windows Hello 4.0. So if you plug this into a Windows 10 computer system and basically a recent model computer system, these sensors on here is basically face recognition to help you unlock, basically to unlock your computer using just your face. And that's actually really convenient to have when you don't wanna to have to type in passwords all the time. Now taking this out right now, we're taking a look. It actually has the mount, mount already uh, attached and it even has a little standard tripod mount thing down below, so it's good to be able to have different mounting options. And I really like the flexibility of this. Uh, this is definitely more flexible than my Logitech ones. Look at this. I can even adjust angle ever so slightly like so, if you needed to, not necessary, but you know, you, you, it has a full, full on 360 degree rotation. That's something that you don't find with Logitech uh, mice and their mount. For them, you actually have to rotate the entire bottom mount and that could be a bit of a problem depending on if you were going to attach this on top of the monitor or not. So uh, another thing that is good about this webcam is that it has a built-in internal shutter, privacy shutter. So you just slide this little thing up here up top, slide it over to, to the left or the right. In this case, it's over to, to, to this side and it actually gives you the privacy that you might want when you're not using it. Okay, so it basically cuts out any view whatsoever. You don't need to use a little 
little tape or post-it note to cover it like you might have with other webcams. You just slide this right on through and then it is fully covering the camera shutter uh, so you have you maintain your full privacy. Okay. Now I wish there was some sort of indicator to know. What I'll probably do is just get some metallic uh, pen and make a little marking here to, to let me know. Uh, put an X meaning that this is private and then O as in it's open. All right, USB-C connector in the back, which is great because we are going that way to give you a standard USB-A, which is a standard USB uh, type jack cable. You don't actually need a USB-C port to use this. So we'll take a look at the cable. It's basically six feet, six feet long, and that's long enough for most people in use cases, but you can easily get one of these um, through just about anywhere now. Nice quality cable. Don't often say that. And that's pretty much, I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much it in the box. Uh, I, my understanding from this is that it's fully plug and play. So another thing you don't get with this and with the Lenovo and partly what you're paying for when you get a third other third party solution is that they come up with some software that could be really helpful uh, for you. And I'm talking about Logitech because that's the most experience that I've had is with the Logitech and they give you a lot of different options to adjust the uh, the video the picture and the sound and some other features such as replacing the backgrounds and such this you're just going to have to rely on the uh, software applications that you're using so in terms of zoom it's fully functional and just plug and play and won't get in the way uh, if you're using some other third party, let's say Skype or something, you want to do something interesting on it, you probably can't do unless Skype supports it. But when you need a webcam and it's nice that that is full HD and it's going to be in stock pretty early, this is probably the best choice right now. And it also happens to be the cheapest option to get Windows Hello on a Windows 10 machine at this time. So again, that's just face recognition for your laptop. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some sample footage from here. Uh, if you're interested in this though, before we go onto the sample footage, um, please give this a like, subscribe for more, and check out my links down below. Uh, they may or may not be affiliate links um, to, uh, to Lenovo or uh, Amazon to, for you to go ahead and try to get one of these. But yeah, you should just order one if you, if you know for sure that you're gonna have to be working from home and you gotta attend a lot of these conferences or maybe your kid has to uh, join any um, online classes, Google Classrooms and stuff, you want, you want something decent with the added benefit that now you don't need, even need to remember your password to log into your computer. And most people, you know, they stream in 1080p. They're not streaming in 4K. So your face is actually gonna potentially be even smaller than what you're seeing on a screen right now. Again, depending on whether or not you're looking on your phone, which a lot of people watch YouTube videos on a phone, or if you're watching on a 4K TV in the living room, all right? So I, I wanna say that the quality is sufficient, especially for the price, but with the added benefit of getting the full on straight Windows Hello capability already built into the camera. All right, let's like take a look at some of the of the specific features on here so you can just kind of get a general idea with the general pictures available on the Lenovo website and I don't think this is available on Amazon right now but uh, if you do want to support my work please feel free to click la the link down below to see if it does become up on Amazon and then if you do if it does and you find a pretty decent price I would appreciate if you purchase it through the uh, affiliate link it doesn't cost you anything extra it just helps to pay some of the bills that I get when uh, to support my YouTube channel, that's it. All right, so this is what you see is a 75 degree uh, wide angle. Okay, this is the width of it. Um, some other more expensive webcams actually have a wider field of view so you can see more of the stuff around you. And that could be very useful if you are using AI technology uh, similar to what uh, Facebook's portal does where they have, a, they have a much higher quality sensor on there and then they just do a digital zoom or digital pan and zoom. And this has a 4x potential possible digital zoom, but I'm not installing any of the software on there. I don't think it's going to be any, any necessarily any better for me. And uh, I think, I think that 75 degree angle seems to work okay in my case, in my scenario. And I, in fact, it actually kind of matches the uh, the webcam scenario that I have with this built-in laptop that I'm on here right now, All right? Uh, th this is relatively new. There's only been about 10 reviews because it's a little bit hard to get right now. So um, let's see, right now it says it ships in more than five weeks. 
So it looks like some people are getting their Lenovo 500 Full HD webcams like I did. I just got mine today. And if you, I guess you place an order now, you might get it in a month and a half. Um, mine had to come in all the way from China. So it's pretty much directly going in. Okay, hope, hope this sample footage was useful and helpful to you. It's important to note that um, some of the more expensive webcams, what's, what sets this one apart from some of the more expensive webcams, and I'm pointing pretty much at Logitech, is that uh, Logitech has one that does 60 frames per second, whereas this one maxes out at 30 frames per second. Uh, Logitech webcams that are typically have a microphone built in, basically a noise cancellation microphone built in. This does not have any microphone built in at all, but this is also the cheapest entry point in getting Windows Hello, which is basically face ID uh, unlocking for your Windows uh, for your Windows based computer. All right, Windows 10 based computer. So, so it supports Windows Hello 4.0 and 4. Point something. All right. So that's that's something that is definitely appreciated. So even if you don't do a whole lot of Zoom conversation calls, you're not going to do a lot of team meetings. At least. Uh, having this later on so that you can just walk up to your computer and it will just unlock when it sees your face is pretty nice pretty nice so once again if you are interested in getting one of these webcams or some other recommendation for webcams please check out my links down below thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video